The cave that Constantine indicated in his note shouldn't be very far. And given his unhealthy fear of being spied on, the place must be guarded. Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives, places of connection. This place, this journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he's threatening Enon Mir Frichtemann himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him, to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. Even though I've studied the rituals of the natives, I really don't know how to proceed. I can only think of one person that could help us. Dunkus. Mev is too hostile towards strangers. You're right. Let's go and find him.
What brings you here on Omanawi? As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoi King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is Oi who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here, take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tiefradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkers. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you.
See Dunkus gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donny of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnygarder of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond.
How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. We were starting to lose hope. Your cousin already passed through here with a horde of creatures by his side. We couldn't stop him. And beasts keep coming. I don't know how long we can sustain this position, but I thought it would be better to hold the front line here, in case you want to chase him. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait! There's a group of creatures coming. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle. <laughs> need my help to stop these creatures. Are you sure that you want to do this? If I can give you just a few more minutes, at least it's something. So yes, I'm sure. Your help will be very precious to us, and we are honored to have the opportunity to fight by your side. Go now and stop your cousin. I don't want to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you, and good luck.
There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. Two arps! Stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck. It's up to me to stop the last wave of creatures. I knew you'd say that, but I hoped I was mistaken. Constantine thinks of you with a lot of affection, despite his madness. You are more likely to convince him than I am. My role is here. Go, go, my child. I pray for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful.
Constantine! Restrain him! Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. This makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses, just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power. Allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death. And to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods. The immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him. To break millennia of foibles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. 
He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me. And we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. These precious friendships allowed my student to slowly forget Kurt's treason, even though he still feels bitter about it at times. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Dunkas and his people spend a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. The natives' hostility towards the Alliance has not diminished, and Governor Byrne is in a delicate situation, especially considering some sordid rumors in al Saad regarding the practices of the scholars he protects. As the discoveries regarding St. Mateus's life had been kept secret, the Ordo Luminis's importance in Teleme kept growing. This generated much conflict among the islanders. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Nords changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Already weakened on the continent, the guard had trouble staying in control of San Mateus, 
At first, the religious population of the city rejected the authority of their commander. But due to its significant distance from Teleme, they eventually accepted it. Despite the negative influence of some shady members in their midst, done this but for you for us so that we may live free at last this makes no sense Constantine it's madness you don't understand because you're still attached to the old world this old dying world which to survive has betrayed used and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us perhaps but I've seen death cousin and I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power. Allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death. And to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods. The immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him. To break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. have predicted when my two young students left the port of Serene that they'd become the gods of Tiafredi, thus plunging the world into chaos. Certainly not me. So it seems that I am a poor teacher amongst those who would try to prevent the ritual from taking place. Only a handful of dazed survivors remained helplessly facing hordes of creatures following the orders of the two cousins. Afra and Petrus, former rivals, fell together. They couldn't accept this treason from the one they believed in. As for Vasco, he managed to run away and join the Nort fleet. Rumor has it that he went to their island, his heart full of bitterness, and never left it again. Siora had done well to go back to her sister, who tried to lead a rebellion for a while. But just like the rest of the clans, she eventually acknowledged the power of their new gods. Exiled from the island, all our nations sunk into a state of constant warfare, each accusing the others of being responsible for their terrible defeat. The congregation is now on the verge of forming. 
and I have no doubt that the others will follow. The lives which haven't been taken by war will be taken by the Malikor. On Tiafredi, the Norts report that nature has reclaimed its rights in the cities. After a period of chaos that saw the death of many rebel islanders, the survivors reportedly all ended up acknowledging the power of the two cousins. But sadly, this is nothing but hearsay, since the news we receive is scarce and getting even more so.